the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. And tonight, in case you missed it, Nikola Jokic had it all going on. He scored 43 points. He was dunking up a storm. He could not miss. He would have thought that the Nuggets could have utilized that to get the big win tonight, but it wasn't so. I'm Chris Marlowe with Scott Hastings. Uh, this was a game where Jokic was fabulous. Uh, Faku Campasso was pretty good. Jamal Murray had really good moments, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough. I mean, you just had too many holes in other places. Obviously, with so many people missing, five different players missing, three starters. Uh, you, you, the bench is now different, right, because a couple of those guys are starting in this game. Um, but the bench struggled a little bit, obviously. And then, and then you know, just a couple empty possessions right. in, in a couple positions that really killed you. If you like Jokic highlights, you have come to the right place. 43 points for Jokic, fourth most he's ever scored in an NBA game, and he got him all shapes and sizes. Well, and early in the game, listen, Tristan Thompson's a good defensive center, and he couldn't do anything with him. Got him in foul trouble. Bonnie Williams, he couldn't do anything with him. And the only thing that got into him is when the team stopped throwing him the ball, kind of in that fourth quarter down low. But he, he, he was he was just brilliant all over the place. And, and, and really, if you think about the two runs that, that hurt Denver Day, the end of the first quarter, when Joker went out with like about a minute 15 left, and then that end of that uh, third quarter, last four minutes, and, and he came out now in that quarter also. So he, he was brilliant tonight, 43 and a losing, losing effort. A pleasant surprise tonight, uh, Faku Campasso getting his first NBA start, and he played very, very well. Of course, you know the Nuggets are hit hard by injuries. All the guards are out, basically, except Faku and Murray. And uh, Faku, I thought, looked good. He played 39 minutes. That's a lot for him. Yeah, that's a lot of minutes, and so now he's going to get his first back-to-back -back with having played a lot of minutes yeah. if, if the injuries don't get better by tomorrow night. But I, I thought he was, was just absolutely solid, and, and I said it during the broadcast. Our producer, Scott Bay, coined it. He's just a gamer, and that's what he is. He's he's everywhere. He's diving on the floor. He's making pass. I think he had eight assists in this game yep. as well. So he did a little bit of everything for the team. And, and listen, you can't say enough about it. I think how he played. In fact, with Murray throughout 25, it allowed Murray to kind of go off off ball a little bit and probably help him, him have a successful game. Those three guys are brilliant. We're looking for we're looking for just one more. One yeah. more could have made the difference. So Faco finishes with 15. That ties his career high. The eight assists, the two steals. He was very very good. Boston had more support, more help. They were just very very good tonight. The Boston Celtics. They've got two of the best wings in the business in Tatum and Brown, and they showed up. Yeah, and, and you know what? I thought they did a good job on Tatum earlier, but but late in that that key fourth quarter run. Brown just absolutely killed you. But I, I thought early on they, they had them both kind of, uh, you know, in check, if you will. Jalen Brown ends up going 11 of 25 of 10 from the three-point line, and he had three monster ones at the end of the third quarter. You know, Tatum didn't shoot the ball a, as well, uh, just 6 of 18, but he still finished with 21, got his. We said before the game that you got to watch these two guys from the wing, how they're going to play. That is 48 yeah. points right there uh, from those two guys. And they had support in other places, too. Yeah, the bench uh, tonight, I believe, was 30 to 14 in favor of the Boston Celtics. Uh, Shaq likes to call them the others. Their others did better than the Nuggets' others. Yeah, and, and to be honest with you, and no name call or anything like this, you get outscored 29 to 2 in the forward position. Yeah. And, and, and that's a big hole to climb out of. All right. So that is our Toyota game recap for tonight. The Nuggets fall 112 to 99 Wednesday night. The Nuggets back at it. Second half of a back to back in D.C. We're on the air at 4 p.m. tomorrow right here on Altitude. Nuggets and the Wizards. Can the Nuggets bounce back? We shall see. For Scott Hastings, I'm Chris Marlowe. Hope to see you then.